Deseret News Rewind is presented by Heidemann and Associates, a full-service law firm dedicated to winning for you. Call them now for a free consultation. Welcome in Deseret News Rewind. Dusty Litzter, Dane Stewart, as always, presented by Heidemann Associates, brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. That's right, Dusty. And hey, it's Championship Saturday. Well, I'll tell you, there's no better legal services available than the experts at Heidemann and Associates. For a free consultation, call 801-754-4240. Locations throughout the state of Utah, full service law firm. They'll take care of you at Heidemann and Associates. We always need someone to help us take that next step. Yeah. Always. Utah Army National Guard is there for you. If you need to take that next step, if that's going to college, give it $20,000 in tuition assistance. If it's help out with your career, on-job training, up to 150 job training opportunities out there, and up to $20,000 in signing bonus to help you with that transition as well. Go look up uh, the National Guard at nationalguard.com. 5A state, 5A girls tournament yeah. was outstanding. Remarkable. I mean, how about this? There was a clear cut favorite. And uh, man, what a run. You know, Lehigh, impressive this year. Ran into a Springville team that was really just locked and loading that semifinal, but it was great. You know, we had a chance to do interviews, and the, the winning coach walking off was like, don't overlook us. And I think the Highland Rams sent that notice in their run to a 5A state championship. Well, we've got to cover Highland for a number of years, and one player we've always known, we finally learned her name that it was right. Yeah. We call her Kaja, but Kaya Glasker. I had a chance to catch up with Kaya Glasker. Here with Kaya, don't call me Kaja Glasker. <laughs> we apologize about that. That's okay. What's going through your head right now? Just... I'm just amazed. Everything, like all the hard work paid off. Me like, and my teammates, it was a grind this season, definitely. And it just all paid off, and then we got the win. Kaya, what's it like? I mean, you were, I remember hearing about you as a freshman and sophomore and seeing you and hearing your senior year to be able to come at the Huntsman Center and be able to finish with a state championship. I mean, just talk about what that feels like for you. Yeah, it just feels like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's just such a great feeling. Just, you know, came in as a freshman, was just a role player, and then I kind of established myself, you know, being the leader of the team. And this year also being the only captain, I've definitely had to take all these young ones because we have a lot of freshmen under my belt, you know, and lead them to where we are now. So, yeah. How about today? You guys finished every quarter strong. Might have lulled throughout the bit of it, but the last minute of every quarter, you guys just spurred them. What was it about the team you guys were able to pull that off? It was definitely during timeouts, me and the coach, you know, we had to calm everyone down. We were getting a little frustrated because we were in foul trouble for a minute there. And everyone was kind of riled up, you know, getting mad at the rest for calling all the fouls. But we get in timeout, just let them know, we're okay, we got this, you know. And then it just calmed them down and then they wanted to fight for it. And I definitely know that my teammates wanted it for me. And I just thank them for it. So, yeah. For a long time, Highland, I think girls basketball has been defense. You guys have always been one of the stronger defensive teams. But this year, the offense... And you talked about the youngsters, some of the freshmen. What was it like to be able to have really a real balanced team offensively, defensively this year for Highland? It was definitely nice being able to score, you know, because, yeah, we hold teams to, you know, like 30 points a game, you know, maybe under 30 sometimes. But then we couldn't score on top of that, so it was hard for us to win games. Holding teams to, you know, like that level, you know, and also then being able to score on top of that, it just helped us put teams away. So, yeah. How, do you feel like you're, you're maybe got to play and coach yourself with Sosie Longy? I mean, a freshman starter, she's played really well. You talk about her play in the state tournament. Yeah, so Sosie definitely, like, balled out, I admit that, uh, this whole season. She's always been there for me, and I've always talked about her, how we've never really had, like, another person scoring. Like, yeah, that was kind of, like, my role the past two years and stuff. But then when Sosie came in, it just made it easier for me to, like, get my shots off, you know, because then they'd have to stop her and me at the same time, so... Highland's been in the state tournament before, but yeah. the first year where the girls are playing at the Huntsman Center, how different was it for you? You've lived at Slick in the yeah. state tournament before. How different was it for you to be able to come here to the Huntsman Center and run through the state tournament? The atmosphere, it was just amazing. I just love the big court, the lighting, everything, and it's nice being able to play on a college court, definitely. What's the moment you're gonna think of when you lay back and you think about your high school career? What's the moment that's gonna flash through your head tonight? Just this. <laughs> Honestly, like, yeah, I've done good in the past, you know, but honestly, this is the only moment that's going to stick in my head is winning that championship and getting that ring. You got a team picture. Kaya, congratulations. Kaya. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, for Kaya, first of all, got her name right, but <laughs> so satisfying yeah. to see just the joy in her face, but all that, to see the leader she is. Just in that conversation, yeah. to see the leader that she's on the floor. Well, you can see it on the floor, right? And a multi-year starter. We talked with her about, we remember you, your freshman days and this her senior year, but this was a young, young roster. And she had to take a big leadership role in helping develop some of those freshmen. I mean, their leading score was a freshman. We had a chance to catch up with Sose Longy. Sose, first of all, 
your freshman, what's going through your head now you bring home a state championship? Um, there's a lot of emotions. Um, I'm just happy, grateful for my teammates, grateful for everyone. Sorry, I just. You're okay. You're okay. Emotional. I'm just very happy. It's for my family above. Like, yeah. Sorry. It was a battle in this one. I mean, you guys make a late push in that first half. Second half, things intensified, very physical. Talk about what, is, what it was like to play in this ball game, and what was the difference for the Rams in the second half? Um, in the first half, well, my, it was on my part. I was kind of just all over the place, but we had to pick it up, and we just had to listen to our captain, Kaya. She put us together and made sure we had our head in the game. So at the end of the day, we just wanted to win really badly. Yeah. Talk about Kaya. Kaya kind of maybe lay, lay a, a footprint for you, four-year starter here. What's it like to win one with her? I'm so happy to play with her. This whole season, it's been a grind with her, um, leading us this whole way. So happy and grateful for her. Um, we're going to have big shoes to fill, definitely, but grateful for this win. Talk about this run for you guys. Region champs, but then you have to go through Salem Hills. You have to go through Springville. Co-region champs in Region 8. It was not an easy journey for you. How good does it feel to be on the top of the mountain, and, and what was it like in this playoff run? Um, it feels really good. Um, all glory to God, he got us here. Um, I think overall, we just had to push through it mentally, physically, and emotionally. No matter how practice was hard, the games, we just had to be there and mentally strong. So. Tell me what it's like to play for Coach Schneider. Seems like it might be a little different. What's it like to play for Coach Schneider? Oh, it's way different, you know. <laughs> you know, got to run by the plays, but he's a great coach overall. Um, we just have to make sure to keep our heads up every game and not to be too humble, but to make sure to finish off strong. What was it like for you to come in the girls' tournament being here in the Huntsman Center and feeling this environment, the big stage, and able to win a state championship on this floor? Man, it's amazing. It's truly a blessing and to play with these teammates that I've been playing for this um, whole season. Um, I'm grateful, like I said, and just taught me a lot of things and continue to push on over the years. Congratulations, you're a state champion. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, so say she's fun as well. And you can yeah. see, and again, we talk about Glass, we want to make it about her, but just the leader. And she said, we yeah. want to do it for her. And Glass said the same thing. And uh, we brought up Coach Kurt Schneider. He's different, but he's a guy that endears people to him. And he's got to feel really good. We got first meet him when he was the head coach at Granger Boys. Yeah. Yeah. And now to go to Highland, he's now a state champion. Here with state champion head coach, Coach Kurt Schneider. Coach, what's going through your head right now? Oh, I don't even have any. I just am so excited for the girls. I mean, you can see it on their faces and how excited they are and the emotions that they have after. And Kaya Glasker said it all. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, you know, after the game, how she kind of broke down. But, you know, that's kind of how I feel, too, is just for her and everything she's done for this group of girls and this, the rock she is. And it just felt so special. So. Coach, talk a little bit about that because, I mean, we talked about it in the stream, you know, last year, tough year for Highland. And then you go from that to this. You're a state champion in 5A. What was the difference in this group that led them to a state championship? Um, freshmen. I mean, that's crazy, right? But, you know, I three freshmen are out there playing solid minutes. I mean, if you think about the pressure that Springville put on us and the little uh, Carson Stevenson just, you know, handling that pressure like no other. And um, that, so say, I mean, she just... I mean, what she's done is just that, that. It's just those two young ladies have put a ton there. Of, you know, they gave us that boost, and uh, with Kaya and her leadership and what she does, it just whatever that chemistry was, it just hit. Man. And so I, I felt that after about five or six games into the season, I'm like, this team is solid, you know. And uh, if I could continue to develop the freshmen, that was going to be the key. You know, as a coach, we always talk about we got to finish. We have to finish. You finished every quarter on some type of little run, hit a couple of big threes right before the end of the half, right in the first quarter, and you finish the year. How good does that feel for you? It, as a coach, it feels really good. <laughs> I mean, to, to get in a situation where, you know, you're like kind of feeling like you're taking a step backwards and all of a sudden you get a big shot or a big play, and uh, they've done it all year. That's just the way they've been. They've just hit big shots. They've just finished things off. And um, as a coach, you know, it just makes you makes you look like you're a better coach, right? <laughs> I wish, I wish I could say it was something I did, but it was the girls. They, they took care of business. Good. Talk about the resiliency that this team showed tonight. You mentioned foul trouble. Kaya talked about foul trouble in this state championship, but they were able to put in almost an entire fourth quarter without committing those fifth personal fouls. How big was that for this group tonight? Uh, huge, huge. I mean, and I, Kaya's been in foul trouble here and there, and I really trust her. But the flow of this game just didn't feel good for me, and so that's why I took her out for a little bit longer. And, 
There was a point in time I said, you know, asked her, I said, are you ready to go? And she goes, let's wait till five. And I'm like, okay, we'll do it. Um, and whether we need to or not, but, you know, I, it just, her being able to understand the game and understand what she, what she can and can't do, that was huge. And then my other girls, you know, just finally trying to, you know, play good defense instead of the hacking and stuff like that. But anyway, it, it worked out. And, you know, in all, in all honesty, I, talking to the refs, I'm just like, this is a state championship game, you know, the, your best players should be on the floor, and whether it's physical or not, let the girls play, you know, that, and I'm fine with that, you know, that kind of thing, so, but, and the, by the way, the refs did an amazing job, did a great job of controlling that game. Uh, one last thought here from you, you can feel like you're saying goodbye to a daughter with Kaya Glasker <laughs> playing her last game here at Highland? Yeah, I am, we, we have uh, been through a lot, and, uh, and you know, to see her move on, and, uh, for this to cap the end of her four years, it's an amazing journey for her, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, you know. Even as a team and continuing to win with team, with you know not having her there is gonna be strange. Coach, congratulations. This has got to feel good. State championship head coach, Coach Kurt Schneider. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. We may not always have the teams right. And Coach Schneider, he was leaving. Said, hey, we know everyone. Well, you had East last few yeah, years. Don't yep. sleep on us. Well, we had Lehigh this year. Did not see Highland coming, and it's really, really good to see a new team take over. And oh yeah, well, another team down 13th East. One of us had Highland playing in the state championship That's game. That's true, you did. So you, you know, there. but but no. Here's the thing, the, and we talked about it with Kaya and with Coach Snyder. This has long been a defensive, rich, traditional program, right? You think of Coach Snyder, his years here, it's been defense, defense, defense. defense we're going to lock you down. Well, this year the offense came alive, and Kaya, we saw her offensive development and growth. Longy, how about Stevenson? She was big in the semifinals and championship. Defend, defense, freshman. This Highland team, they were one of the top scoring teams in the state this year and one of the top defensive teams in the state. It was an impressive run by Highland. Region six champs. This is a team that was below 500 last year, able to put it on here in 2020. And man, what an impressive run. They did it with defense some rounds, offense in other rounds. Highland proved to be the best team in 5A. An absolutely terrific week here at the Huntsman Center. First time. Yeah. It was an absolute blast. Hope you enjoyed the streams. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit us up on Twitter. What did you think of this run from Highland? At D News Rewind. For Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us. I'm watching Deseret News Rewind, presented by Heidemann Associates, brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard.